वेलकम बैक ओपन बाजार एपीआई फोल्डर देन एस आर सी यूजार्स एंड आई हैव क्लिन टू फाइल्स वाट यूजार्स डट कंट्रोलर डट स्पेक डट टी एस एंड यूजार्स डट सार्विस डट स्पेक डट टी एस आई हैव डिलीटेड दिस टू फाइल्स नाउ ओपन यूजार्स कंट्रोलर डट टी एस यार इज आवर फाइल कंट्रोलर पाथ इज यूजार्स एंड इट्स ए पोस्ट मेथड विथ क्रिएट फॉर नाउ आई एम कॉमेंटिंग दिस एंड रिटर्न जस्ट हाई सेव इट माई सर्वर इज रानिंग ओके नो प्रॉब्लम सो ओपन योर पोस्टमैन यार इज लोकल होस्ट कॉलोन थ्री थाउजेंड then slash users because users are path and it's a post method so send it now is hi but what if i need before users api then slash v1 that means version 1 then if every time i have to put this in every controller like products category orders every route should need this but this is not the proper way i want it globally so to fix this we have to use main dot ts function so open main dot ts here before listening this server app dot use app dot use global prefix sorry it's not use global prefix prefix it's set set global prefix then API slash v1. Okay, save this and open your terminal. We have no problem. Let's go Postman. Now, if we send this request to three thousand and slash, it will not found. Okay, cannot post. Here we have to set now API then slash v1 and slash users. Let's send it. Is say hi. Okay. Now close main dot ts and users controller. We need a post route for create our users or sign up. For sign up, we need a path method that is post. and is path will be sign up and sign up okay let's see first how we send our data to this controller route here nestjs provide us a body decorator where we can found our data body and let's make it any for now and return just hi but we can see console dot log words is in our body save it open terminal okay no problem no problem let's go there and now i am going to send row then json for now let's we need name name xyz okay then we need email
xyz at xyz dot com then password we can say x y z okay let's send this first send it it say hi but we have to see our console but it didn't do anything save it first sorry i have missed something that is users then sign up okay let's it's high but we have to see our console now we have see in as you see name email and password we got our data and we are going to send this data to our service and service what will do it insert our data to database open nextjs document okay i have opened nextjs document and in my project i am going to use repository pattern and nextjs suggest how to use repository pattern and here is a service option service file and in user folder users src then users then here is users dot service here is our user service now nextjs how to use this is class then constructor and in its inject repository and here user is the class of entity we have named it users entity so we have we have to make it user entity and private user repository repository user and it will be user entity for us so let's copy this full constructor and open service folder file and after user service we can paste it for inject repository this come from nextjs type warm and import it now repository it also it it comes from type warm okay and here user we have user entity here is our user entity we can import it and it's also user entity and that's it now we can use this user repository to insert or update or delete and what is injectable and what is injection dependency let you have a car and your car to run it needs an engine an engine is the injectable so user service is injectable to run the controller in this concept we can the bit of understand what is dependency injection is a confusing terms but if you don't understand it fully just remember that every service in nextjs is injectable okay and here is our injectable decorator and this inject repository then user service need this repository injection to work now previously we created a method in our controller let's open user controller dot ts as it is user controller dot ts let's sign up we have created a sign up method functions we will pass the pass our data to this service to create a new user so sign up i am giving this same name sign up and it will receive body make it any for now now we can create a user so const user equal to these dot user repository dot create body okay then return these dot user repository dot save user 
but it's an promise. So every promise we have to use this function async. So it's async and make we have to make this await. Okay, save this file and open users controller. Now we can call this function return await these dot user services dot sign up and we have to send our data within body and it should be async okay and remove this save it also and open terminal now open postman and we can send a request with this information to create a user so let's send a request okay we have got some information like name email password id roles so it's working in this way we can send our data and create our user let's modify something just remove this password field and make a request what it says internal server error okay let's open it says null value in column password or relation users violates null null constraint that means password is a not null field but we have sent data with null field so we need to validate our data what is sent it will be validate before sending to database and we have to do this in our controller before goes to service and how this work in nsjs we will see in later till then bye